Hi guys, my name is Valerie. This is a channel about America. This is the second video, second part of the video about what I was studying in a community college uh, in my online marketing and social media architect AAS program. So we're gonna keep talking about the classes which I took and which classes have they changed now. If you wanna know what was in there, keep on watching. So in this video we're gonna talk about supportive classes. In the previous video I already told you which core classes did I have uh, to take a, uh, to complete my online marketing and social media architect program. In this video we're talking about supportive classes and classes which can be easily changed to something else. So in supportive classes I had two English classes. It was English 101 and uh, persuasive writing. So English 101 is general English, basic English. I'm pretty sure if you were studying English in your high school, in your country, that's gonna be pretty much the same. Grammar, writing, speaking, listening, stuff like that. Nothing special, English. But I think every uh, program which you take which you take in uh, a college or university, they're gonna have English in it. Persuasive writing is an English course which is supposed to teach you how to write an essay, how to appeal to a reader, how to touch the emotions, feelings, and stuff like that. Personal for me, it was a boring class because I used to be a, a freelance writer before and I used to write so many texts, so many different texts uh, for over a year and that's why for me uh, it was not that cool to learn once again how to write introduction, how to write body and how to write a conclusion. Uh, so yeah, uh, I would definitely change it to something else. But if you just started learning English and you have not um, I wrote any essays before that's gonna be useful because in digital marketing uh, when you write texts when you write um, some descriptions when you uh, write blog posts you need to know how to actually structure your uh, writing good you need to know how to make sure that everything's organized so the reader will catch your idea and we'll understand what exactly did you want to tell them the next class was a Microsoft Office Suite class Oh, really? Really? We learn how to use Microsoft Office. We learn how to use Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft Access. Uh, so main Microsoft Office use uh, tools. I've been studying at the university before, so I've, I've used all of them before. Uh, that's why for me also was not uh, an impressive class. I really just was going there doing homework. I don't, well, I did learn something new, obviously, because we were like going really deep dive into those um, tools. Uh, but don't really see a point in it if you already used it before. But also, people are coming from different countries, people are coming from different backgrounds, so for someone that would be a really useful program, because now when I'm looking for a job in a digital marketing, I see that everyone requires uh, the knowledge of Microsoft. Uh, but for me, it's an obvious thing, because in my high school and in my university in Ukraine, we've been using those tools like all the time every day another supportive class was a database class we learned how to build database we, database we were using my sql a good thing to know now when i'm looking for a job i also see that lots of people are actually um asking a uh, lot of employers they're actually asking for you to have some database knowledge skills interesting why is it important because uh, for example if you're opening your own uh, company if you're opening your i don't know gym gym or you open you want to open your store online store you need to keep your uh, customers data somewhere and that's where database is coming from in that class the main project was to build a database i mean uh, yeah we were actually building a database we were writing all the structure how's everything connected it was super fun super interesting to me i like i like math and that somehow relates to math, I guess. All the functions and connections. Really interesting. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Would take it again. Another interesting class was a digital photography. It was interesting to learn how to use a camera in a different way. Not just take a picture as you usually would do it. But like get closer to a subject or get farther from a subject. Uh, look at the lights. Learn how lights are working. Learn how to edit photos. We'll learn how to use Adobe Lightroom. So also another check mark in your uh, skill uh, 
uh, in your skill list for your resume. We had a super awesome teacher. Uh, he was super creative. He always uh, gave us different interesting assignments. Once we were just walking around the whole campus taking different pictures of different from one point like nothing just boring subjects and we were try we were trying to make some unusual pictures out of those boring subjects there was also was one day when he took us to a, a flight museum where there there were lots of planes first of all just interesting to go and look at the flight museum lots of planes lots of interesting stories and we were taking pictures of those parts of the planes and some students they actually came up with a really really great idea also digital marketing something uh, which you actually um, relate to photography because uh, i mean open instagram yeah no one read the post everyone just looking at the pictures and everyone just looking at the videos shorts uh, stories etc digital photography was an awesome class we'll take it again and the teacher was awesome awesome great php class uh that also was a supportive course although in a web development tool we did use php to build a website here it was like a separate php class uh i took it online was not a great idea but i didn't have an option because i was too late to uh get in a face-to-face -face class it was taken already it was full with other students that's why i took it online it was really difficult because i haven't used php before and i had uh to also build a website using php for that class i didn't like the fact that uh the homework uh was way more complicated and difficult than the lectures so i would uh, listen to the lectures online but the homework assignments they were way Way more difficult I had to Google and Google and Google honestly the whole quarter I spent all weekends every single weekend doing PHP homework lots of struggling but fake it until you make it right I made it got my score not don't remember actually what the score was it but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad for sure not really sure how exactly does it relate to digital marketing because digital marketing it's not actually programming when i was working in it company and i went when i was like uh looking at the job descriptions uh, for digital marketing position they hardly ask you to have a uh, programming skills some would ask you to have uh wordpress skills but really php mm, haven't seen that now another supportive class was a principles of sales Da, 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 da. also not really sure why did they put it there because usually marketing is not necessarily sales usually those are even two different departments uh, and sometimes they don't really go along together very well uh, yeah but anyway probably they wanted to show us how would you talk to a customer because marketer is a person who's like working behind yet we don't actually go and talk to customers straight away that's sales team we just set up everything in the back seat and to a pretty website and stuff like that well we still analyze customers but never actually go and sell stuff to them uh directly uh so for me i i don't know we learned how to uh, talk to people we learned some principles of sales uh but now when i opened a highline college website and i looked at the program i noticed that they have changed this class so i was right when i was sitting there and i was seeing that guys let's better do something else they actually finally finally included marketing class into online marketing program bingo yeah i was actually really surprised when i was studying there i didn't have any marketing class i didn't have a class which had a word marketing in it and finally they changed a principles principle of sales class to marketing class yay i'm actually even a little bit jealous <laughs> for those students who are studying there now also talking about which classes have been changed english class has been changed to advertising uh this pursue writing class it has been changed to advertising class good idea good call another class was a php was changed to a multimedia for web have no idea what are they learning there but i would definitely want to learn that because it sounds fun multimedia for web another class which was a supportive class which i was taking was an entrepreneurship class so we learned how business works how to open a business how to um use your budget once we played monopoly because we're little entrepreneurs uh was fun i think i just i just realized that maybe i didn't like some subject because i didn't like the way they were taught because uh, this one although entrepreneurship 
is doesn't like 100% relate to digital marketing because being a digital marketer you don't have to open your company right away right you can just work as a digital marketer at some other company uh, but still the way they taught this class was really cool so I loved it uh, but now it has been changed as well they changed it to multimedia production also sounds way more fun way more not fun but sounds like it does relate more to our digital marketing now let's move forward to the group of classes which you could have changed to something else those group of classes that that group of classes included only three classes the first was another english technical writing we were learning how to explain difficult uh, stuff in a simple and easy way now i know why did we learn that after working in an it company when i was working in it and i was writing a blog post or even like writing some little text descriptions for the web pages you actually need to get to your customer something difficult in a simple way because sometimes when you try to sell a software come on not everyone knows why they need it how does it work and what those all fancy schmancy words mean that's why you have to simplify everything that's what we had that technical writing for we were trying to make difficult stuff simple another class which could have been changed to something else was a human resources class interesting for general knowledge for sure we learned uh, how different companies are working we were investigating uber we were investigating facebook there was some amazon uh interesting to know that for the future when you're actually out there looking for a new job you know uh for which red flags to look uh but uh, in my opinion was really interesting um class there were lots of case studies where we were where we were actually investigating a uh, different problem problems which companies have again for the future really helpful and another class was a statistical analyzing class we learned statistics i learned it when i was uh, doing my um sociology degree at university so here was not nothing special for me i'm not really sure why i did not change any of those classes there were way more interesting classes in the program in other programs but yeah uh if you know that there are some other classes which you are interested in you always can go and talk to your advisor and say hey can i please change those not necessary classes in my program to something which actually more appealing to me and which actually might relate more to your um degree they will easily do that so yeah those are my classes i'm interested to hear your opinions about that do you be in your opinion which classes did not relate to the program in your opinion which classes would add you to the digital marketing program or if you are studying in a college or you are studying in a university and you also have some like question marks why am i studying this does it even make sense to my degree write it down in the comments it will be interesting to read it. if you like the video go ahead and click the like button if you have any questions ask them in the comments and as always you guys have a good day or a good night bye